Hello there, welcome to the latest Spink Medal podcast. Um, let's begin with a little housekeeping. Um, we will be attending the uh, OMSA convention in Pittsburgh during August and for our UK clients we will also be attending uh, the OMRS convention uh, this year relocating to Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, we will look forward to seeing you there in September. And uh, I hope everybody at home has uh, got their catalogue uh, fresh off the press. And um, we'll kick off with uh, lot number 13 uh, picture behind me, uh, which is the group of seven um, to Warrant Officer Taffy Lawley. Um, it's a nice group of seven, uh, military medal. Uh, Lawley was one of the founding members of the British Airborne Service and was parachuted in with um, X Troop uh, 11th Battalion uh, to destroy the Trigino Aqueduct in southern Italy. Um, the men were parachuted in uh, in February. Uh, they successfully destroyed the aqueduct and were meant to uh, withdraw um, for ex uh, extraction via submarine. However, they had to fight a gallant retreat, um, but they were all eventually taken prisoner of war. And uh, Lawley was one of the men interned at Salmona camp. Um, once the uh, armistice came in 1943, uh, the Italian armistice, um, the orders were given that under no circumstances should any man uh, escape. Uh, however, Lawley didn't quite agree with that, and he uh, he made his he made good his escape. And um, why I've got a, a previous cell above my uh, above my left shoulder um, is him and um, Lawley and Clem Clements, um, which we had the the uh, honour to sell in November 2014, uh, successfully marched over 100 miles in 22 days um, back to safety and um, back, back home. Um, the military medal um, we have on offer today is one of just four um, which was awarded for the first uh, British SAS uh, airborne mission. Um, and uh, I mean, it's a, it's a great story and the, the lot comes with a lot of original uh, items. We've got original photographs. Uh, we've even got the letter that was sent um, by the commander of number 11 um, to Mrs. Lawley to say, your husband was one of those specially chosen to take part in the recent parachute raid. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that he is among those who have not returned to their base. He will there, he will therefore, in due course, be posted as missing. It is considered probable that he is a prisoner of war. This information is sent to you in confidence and should be made in public. Should not be made public. Another great piece of um, first-hand um, supporting information to go with the medals. We've got uh, ten photographs, I believe, with it. Many of those sent as uh, POW. And uh, once he'd got back to uh, Britain, many would have thought perhaps he would have um, quietly seen out the rest of the war. However, uh, a newspaper cutting, uh, quoting Lawley himself, said um, it took him a few months to wangle his way back into parachuting, but he certainly got there. He um, jumped uh, just before D-Day. He was involved during Operation Varsity and also on the advance to the Baltic, uh, for which he was also awarded a mention in dispatches. Uh, the certificate of that is also included in the lot. Um, it's a superb lot and we expect um, strong bidding going to be required. The medals to, Taff, uh, medals to Clem uh, were also conservatively estimated and did, did very well. And we're very pleased to have the, um, to the honour to, to, um, to have been auctioning two of the four medals given for um, Operation Colossus. On to something slightly different now. Second World War again. Uh, this time it is a George Medal, Group of Six, to um, Corporal Coop, um, nice group. The, uh, the George Medal itself um, was awarded for action in September 1940 uh, when an aircraft on its approach to um, RAF Netherston near Nottingham um, crashed upon landing and instantaneous burst, instantaneously burst into flames. Um, the air gunner managed to escape, however the, um, the pilot was unfortunately trapped and um, Corporal Coop, uh, together, together with uh, aircraft and Farley, um, both in spite of the flames and in spite of all the um, ammunition exploding around them, um, successfully withdrew him, um, suffered burns, and uh, this is a, a joint uh, George Medal action. Um, he later then also went on to receive uh, the Air Efficiency Award. So two named medals in this group, a uh, very nice group, um, and um, a, a very nice civilian gallantry medal. Uh, more gallantry, 
now. However, um, we go back many years uh, to the Crimea and we've got a, a single Distinguished Conduct Medal to um, Private Bowie of the 42nd Highlanders. Um, his DCM was, was awarded for sharpshooting um, between the 17th and the 24th of October uh, prior to Sebastopol. Um, again, another scarce medal, just seven of these awarded to the 42nd foot. Um, and it's a very nice thing and um, I hope, I'm sure this will do well as well. Um, so we've got a nice, uh, nice smattering of gallantry. We've got two George medals on offer. Uh, we've also got a nice um, uh, Died of Wounds Crimea DCM and a, a rare um, Boer War DCM group. Um, the sale then continues on to the, the campaign medals. Um, we've got no fewer than uh, 12 Waterloo medals on offer in this sale. Um, and I've just picked out um, not a Waterloo medal, but a Naval General Service medal here, um, which is lot number 38. This NGS was awarded to Francis Wharton. Um, it's a two-clasp NGS, uh, class for 1st of June 1794 and also for Egypt. Uh, Wharton joined the Royal Navy in 1792 as a um, captain's servant. Uh, he later then went on to serve um, as a lieutenant during, um, during the actions on and off um, Egypt uh, in collaboration with the army in HMS Good Design. Uh, the reason why I've picked this medal out specifically uh, from all the others we've got on offer, um, it's actually unique to the ship um, the, for the clasp um, and considering what other uh, interesting and multi-clasp NGS medals have been achieving recently, uh, we hope this one will be well received. Um, those are just four medals which I've picked out for the um, for this sale. We've got 176 lots. Uh, the sale starts at precisely 10 a.m. on July the 21st, uh, 2016, uh, here in London. Uh, we've also got a very fine collection of German medals um, from Peter Burt, a, a nice run of Russian uh, medals from a continental collector, uh, and the sale is concluded um, by the scientifically important medals to Dr Harold King, uh, who won a CBE, and uh, also the, the very rare um, Hanbury Gold Medal, which he was awarded, um, is on offer during the sale. I look forward to receiving your bids in all the normal ways, uh, whether it be by email, by post, and um, I hope to see many of you bidding on Spink Live, but also I hope to see many of you in the room on the 21st of July. Thank you very much. Goodbye.